Hi, this is Don McAllister, and I'd like to extend a long overdue welcome back to Tim Stringer. Now, if you're a long-term member, you'll recognise Tim as he's previously made some great content for Screencasts Online. So for this video, we've called on Tim's expertise using Zoom. So, over to Tim. Hi, this is Tim Stringer, and welcome to another weekly tip video. I've been an avid user of Zoom since 2014, long before most people had ever even heard of Zoom. The talented team at Zoom have since introduced many innovative new features, including some that I requested personally. I'm going to show you a few lesser known Zoom features that can help you up your Zoom game. All of these features are available on both free and paid Zoom accounts. Let's start by looking at the best way to stream a video in Zoom. Before starting the recording, I went ahead and started up a Zoom meeting. I'll go ahead and click the Share Screen button in the toolbar to reveal the screen sharing options. Until recently, if you wanted to share a video with meeting participants, you needed to open up the video on your computer in an app such as QuickTime before going into screen sharing, then check the Share Sound and Optimize for Video Clip buttons, and finally share the app that you're using for video playback. This does the job, but it's a rather tedious and time-consuming way to start the video playback. Another downside is that participants see the playback controls, which is a tad distracting. Fortunately, Zoom has since made it much easier to stream a video. Simply click on the Advanced tab, double-click the Video button, and double-click the video that you want to stream. I'm going to choose this compilation of some footage that I shot while enjoying a gondola ride in Venice. Participants in my Zoom meeting are now seeing the initial frame of the video. When I hover my mouse over the Zoom window, you'll see a toolbar that contains the play button, the current and total time of the video, a control for navigating the video, a volume control, and a button that I can click to go into full screen. This toolbar isn't visible to Zoom participants. They'll only see the video itself. I'll click the play button to start the video streaming. I can pause the video at any point, perhaps to highlight something that's currently on screen. I can also scrub forwards or backwards and adjust the volume. While the video is playing, I can keep my mic muted as the video plays, and I can unmute it if I want to add some live commentary. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.